what makes trick shotting so great? The satisfaction of finally hitting that trick shot you've been going for? Or maybe your boy's deafening you with an overreaction? Well, for me, it's getting high rise on Modern Warfare 2, running up that crane, and waiting patiently for the enemy to get in the right spot before I go for my trick shot. Today we are counting down the top 10 best trickshot maps in COD history. But before we get into the video, make sure you click that subscribe button and leave a like on the video if you enjoy. At the number 10 spot, we have Resistance from Modern Warfare 3. You're probably wondering why I picked this map. It's terrible for trickshot. You have no decent spots at all. And you're right, I would agree with you on that. But that's why we're going out the map. I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose of this video, but we're gonna let it slide. We we're not going to talk about that. There's no feeling quite like getting out the map with a riot shield, walking across that railing, boosting to last with your pal, and then going for some shots. It almost feels like this map has levels to it. A more experienced player can get to more advanced spots, where the less experienced players can only trick shot from the basic spots. So the more you play this map, the more fun it gets. But either way, Resistance is a map that has provided me with some of the most enjoyable times I have ever had trick shot on. So so the next one might be a little bit unpopular, but at the number 9 spot, we have Countdown from COD 4. I picked this map because you can trickshot from anywhere, and a lot of maps just don't have that. You never have to run far for a trickshot attempt. Plus, it's a very open map, making it hard for the enemies to camp, which is a bonus for us trickshots, because it makes it easier for us to hit them. I mean, this map is amazing for S&D, Free For All, even TDM trickshot, and if you know how to do the elevator a glitch, you can get to some really cool spots. I mean, look at this clip from Gorb that was hit back in 2018. You just don't get stuff like this nowadays. I would put this map higher on the list, but I feel like it was misplaced. I think this map would have worked better in like Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3, a game like that. But apart from that, it's always a great time to trick shot on this map. And at the number 8 spot, we have Standoff from Black Ops 2. Just like Countdown, I feel like you can trick shot from anywhere on this map, off a tank, out of a window, or from one of the rooftops. This map is also home to one of the most iconic trick shots of all time. I'm sure you can all guess what I'm talking about, but if you live under a rock and you don't know what I'm talking about, it is the window shot. I still get so excited if I hit this shot. I don't think I've ever played standoff without jumping out the window, but personally, standoff is one of my favorite FFA maps to play. The game always flows so nicely, making it easy for sniping to last. I don't know anyone who does love this map. It's standoff. There's not much more I can say about that. For a lot of people, Ghost was one of the most hated CODs of all time, but for me, it was home to some of the greatest COD maps of all time. A lot of people are probably going to hate me for that, but I'm rocking with it. And that is why Prison Break is at the number 7 spot. Prison Break had countless trickshot spots, an insane suey at the back of the map. I mean, it was pretty much impossible to get the enemy down there, but if somehow you did, your hands would start sweating instantly. I do feel like this map is a little bit too big though. And if you was playing FFA, it was kind of hard to get to some of the trickshot spots. This map would be perfect if they blocked off the outside skirts and made it so you can only play the center of the map, if that makes sense. And that's why the map only really worked for S&D and not Free For All. I love this map, but if I ever got it in Free For All, I was probably backing out. Apart from Phase Rain, that man had no problem hitting absolute bangers on this map. I cannot believe what I just hit. At the number 6 spot, we have Summit from Black Ops. And I actually think this map was very underappreciated. When people talk about the best maps on this game, Summit always seems to be overlooked. It's always Fire Range, WMD, Jungle, and the list goes on. This map has a wide range of spots, but my favorite is the Sui next to A-Bomb. I remember seeing Obey Origins, I think. I'm not sure if that's his name, it's been a while. But yeah, he hit a shot back 
back in the day from there. And I just thought it was the coolest shot on Black Ops at the time. And I've actually been going for the same shot, I think for about eight years now. And I still haven't hit it, but maybe one day I can get lucky. I also think Summit has been remade on every Black Ops game, apart from Cold War, but I could be wrong about that. But yeah, it's been great for Trickshot on every time it's been remade. I've spent hours Trickshot on this map and I've yet to get bored. That is why it's number six on my list. I feel like a lot of people are going to hate me for this one, but at the number five spot, we have Green Band from Advanced Warfare. Okay, let me explain. Most people hated this game and I'm not really sure why. I mean, it was one of my favorite COD games of all time. And in my opinion, I think we saw some of the greatest maps for Trickshot in Advanced Warfare. But for me, Green Band was by far the best one. You can Trickshot from anywhere on this map. Pretty much the whole map was a Sui, which made this map amazing for free for all. And it was also great for SD players. You can also get out the map pretty easily if you know how to and go for some crazy shots. If you could hit the shot out the map, it's pretty much a guaranteed closer. I think you could put this map on any COD and it would be great for Trickshot. And that is why it's on my list. Okay, so we are now at the number four spot. And I genuinely believe these next few maps could all be number one. But we have Terminal from Modern Warfare 2. I don't even need to talk about this map. But I do want to say I was going to put this higher on my list. But if I'm being honest, there's not that many good trickshot spots. I mean, you have Red Roof, a few spots at the back of the map. And of course, the plane shot itself. But that's pretty much it. And when playing free for all, it can be kind of difficult getting to some of these spots. Everyone just seems to camp near the Red Roof, making it really hard to trickshot on this map. And it's pretty much impossible to get on top of the plane when you're playing with randoms they just love the camp in the plane i normally find myself getting a little bit annoyed when i play this map but when you do get them good games against bots it's so enjoyable terminal has been remade a couple of times and it's been great every time it's even fun on infinite warfare and that game sucks but nothing will be getting on top of the plane hitting an absolute banger and having your boys scream down the mics and at the number three spot we have firing range from black ops and if i'm being honest with you guys if it wasn't for the studio remake on black ops 2 i probably wouldn't even have this on my list don't get me wrong, I love the original map, but Studio just hits different. I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's on my all-time favorite COD, but I just, I don't know. But in my opinion, I think both Fire and Range and Studio are the greatest free-for-all maps of all time. The games will always flow perfectly, making it easy for getting to last. And then you have a wide range of spots to choose from. You've got the barn, the stairs, the tower, and other little spots around the map. Plus, you can pretty much wallbang everything. Out of every map in COD, I genuinely think Studio has the most trick shots hit on it. I mean, look at the Linksy wallbang, for example. I think I've hit that like a thousand times, and I'm not even joking, let alone everyone else. I've been playing Fire and Range for 12 years and Studio for 10, yet I still have so much fun every time I play these maps, and I don't think I'm ever going to get bored of them. And that is why it's number three on my list. This next one might annoy a lot of you but at the number two spot we have carrier from black ops 2 i literally don't even need to talk about how great this map is i think everyone can agree that it's one of the greatest trickshot maps of all time it almost feels like they designed the map for us and not the casual players you have the jets broken planes ramps and of course the whole boat itself you can just trickshot from anywhere but the main thing i love about carrier is just going for a boat bang the whole game whether it's online, private match, or plutonium, nothing will ever be just hitting a boat bang. I've only ever hit the boat bang on private match and plutonium, and I have actually hit marketed it online, but the guy went red like the tiniest little bit. I don't think I've ever seen a legit boat bang online. The boat bang is a type of shot where if you actually hit it, no one would believe you, especially nowadays. It's just that insane of a trick shot. But just like every map on this list, it's great for every game mode, every trickshot style 
and I don't think we're gonna see another map this great for Trickshot. Some of the best trick shots ever here have been here on Carrier. It's a map I can play all day and not get bored of. That's why it's on my list and probably everyone else's list too. I'm sure all of you can guess the number one spot, but we have High Rise from Modern Warfare 2. This map is quite honestly trickshot heaven. There is no other way to pull up. You have legend ladder, glitch spots, helipad, elevator building, and of course, the crane shot, which is probably the most iconic trick shot in COD history. I think everyone will agree with me on that. I can't think of a better shot. I can still hear the boys screaming because we got high rise in the map rotation. And to be honest, I still freak out now and it's been 13 years. High rise is great for TDM trick shot and free for all, but S and D, this map is perfect. Back when I would run six mans on modern warfare 2 i wasn't the most skilled player so one of my favorite tactics was to go on the office rooftop next to legend ladder i would camp up there with my noob tubes trying to take out as many enemies as possible with my one man army that was truly the golden days of cod trickshot genuinely some of the most fun i've ever had trickshot on was on high rise nothing will ever be funnier than blocking someone off legend ladder and just listening to them scream before being cut off. No. No. And that's a wrap on my top 10 trickshot maps of all time. Let me know in the comments if you agree with my list. And if you don't, what are your top 10 favorite maps? But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Take care.